Did you hear that? That's the mating call for the 50 BMG. Isn't it beautiful? Hello, 45 Elva Charlie Papa Channel, and today we're going to take a, my Craig Jorgensen uh, 1898 Springfield uh, apart. Uh, you may want to take these apart for cleaning. You know, some of these are getting quite old and they can be kind of gummed up inside. Um, this is a sporterized version, so um, the, the front end of the stock I don't have to show you. There should be a nose piece on there. It's typically a single screw. You take that out, slip the nose piece off up and over the uh, front sight. But um, if you're going to do this kind of work, it, it's really important to have a good set of hollow ground uh, screwdriver bits and screwdriver. Uh, this one comes from Brownell. They offer them. I think Midway's got some. Uh, just uh, a very good idea to have something like that because when you're taking these old screws apart, you don't want to mess them up. Uh, some of them can already be messed up a little bit. And uh, you want to have several different options here so that you can fill that slot as uh, as much as possible so you don't have any play or, or looseness there um, in order to take these screws out so that uh, everything comes apart properly. Let's go ahead and take the front band off this first. Now, we'll go ahead and actually let's do the bolt first. Bolts on these are a little bit different. Um, you do need to kind of pull up here and rotate the, the handle up as you've got it pulled up and then they come out um, first time you do these um, it's kind of difficult after you've done it a couple times you kind of get the hang of how everything goes together um, it is kind of spring-loaded if I bump this it'll it'll drop the pin and everything and you got to kind of twist it back but uh, that's the bolt uh, out of the gun we'll take this apart here in a little bit now, the main reason I'm taking this part today is to replace this hinge pin. It's got a broken hinge pin on it. The pin works, uh, but the cover that goes over here is missing and I was able to locate one. There we go. I was able to locate one on eBay that's got the cover and everything so that's going to go back in there. You got to be very careful with these when you take them in and out. Um, you don't want to break this tab and that has kind of what has happened here is that tab has been been broken but uh, let's go ahead and get this front barrel band off just trying to find a, uh, a screwdriver bit that's going to fill most of that gap See, this one's been on on and off a couple of times so something a little bit narrower than this one yeah that that's a much better fit it digs in there a little deeper but we've got it off um, that can now come off of here and then taking the the stock off here it's these two screws right here Long one in the back, short one in the front. Kind of orientate them the way they go. You can take the trigger guard off. Nice steel trigger guard. You don't see that in the new new production. And then this should should just lift right out of the stock. And there's your your wood. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the, this pin here out of here. Now, if you have the, the cover and stuff on there, it should be sitting somewhere down in there. Um, but if you have the cover on here, you're going to need to take a screwdriver, kind of gently pry that up while pulling that out. Um, go ahead and use a uh, 
clamp here because there's a spring underneath here to kind of keep some spring pressure on it um, and I got this this little little persuader here um, just need a little persuader you don't need a, a convincer but uh, it's brass on one end plastic on the other um, that's just to kind of get it started Pull it out the rest of the way here, little by little. There we go. Kind of see it popped up a little bit here. We'll go ahead and release it. And part of when you're putting that in, you're fighting against this little spring right here there's your door when I put this new one in here it should cover up this mechanism here um, you can take your and pull your um, follower magazine follower out you can get in there with a q-tip or whatever and clean I said I have I have cleaned this one uh, now let's do flip it over here and the trigger group pretty pretty simple system here um, you got a, a spring down here I don't know if you can see that kind of sits down here in its own little slot So pretty easy to take out. It's a matter of getting the trigger mechanism clear of the frame here. Just kind of wiggling it out there. There we go. And now you gotta carefully you got a spring in there. Now I took this apart uh, originally, kind of got the spring oiled up, it was rusty. Uh, there's a lot of old oil and, and gunk in the works. Now the hardest part of this is getting everything back in. So you want to get it in here because you got to compress the spring at the same time. So you got to kind of twist it a little bit over. Try to compress this spring. Like you're trying to get it back into that slot. I kind of got it started here. Press that spring a little bit more with the screwdriver. There we go. And she falls back in to its home. So pretty, pretty simple mechanism. Um, you can take the side plate off here. Let's go ahead and uh, find a bit that's going to fill that that one feels pretty solid you can see this uh this screw here is a little wallowed you know from people taking it apart over over the years with improper tools but it does come apart okay you can also um, i'm not being able to pry it from this end but you should be able to come in from the back end here Just got something with a rubber tip on it, but there you go. I don't want to hit it metal on metal, so find something with a little rubber tip or a wooden dowel or something, and that pops right off of there. It is kind of recessed in there with a little lip, um, but that is basically taking able to take this apart here. It's still got some some oil there from when I took it apart and oiled it. Uh, it had some surface rust on it, so I figured I would. Uh, you know, make sure it's got a nice little sheen of oil on it to help protect it. You know, it's 118 years old, so anything I can do to, to help out. Now, I have shot this, too, so I'm surprised there's as much oil on it as there is. But 
go ahead and put this plate back on. Put the screw in. You know, that's kind of taking apart for a good deep cleaning. Get it on there, just kind of be careful, gentle with it, you know, especially if you got a boogered out screw like this. Um, take the magazine cutoff off. Let's see if we can do that. Let's find a nice little micro screwdriver here. What we're trying to do is push this plunger. There we go. And it just pulls out that simple. You got a little plunger here that you're you're trying to push down to get it past the little recess here. So put it back in. Get something you can pull that plunger down, get it up and over the top. A little bit bigger bit here. Maybe it's just getting that, that plunger plunged in enough that you can get it up and by there we go now it's there and now you got your magazine cut off back on and that should be about as far as you need to take it apart to to give it a nice deep clean um, so we'll go ahead and get our follower back in there our spring um, you'll notice there's a little little cutout on the spring and it needs to ride right here because that magazine follower and cutoff kind of rides along that and that's what this is what pushes down on this to push it into the gun and advance the next round we've got our cover Grab our clamp again. Yeah, this clamp is kind of weak. I can't get enough pressure on it to hold it or it'll stay. So let's go grab a, a better clamp. Um, I thought this one was going to work well. It worked okay taking it out, but it's not working putting it back in. So, okay, I had to go back. You'll get something with a little bit better, better mechanical advantage here. Um, that quick clamp just wasn't going to quite do the job. Okay, I've got some better mechanical advantage on this. Let's take our, our new piece here. And I'm going to use some uh, some Luber plate, um, great grease. I've used this on ARs. I use this on a lot of my my firearms. Um, I know in the diesel industry they use a lot of this, uh, putting motors and stuff back together. It's just a good good grease. Okay, let's get this put back in here. There it is. First time I put that on there, I didn't want to break this piece um, like the old one had been broken. 
go ahead and relieve the tension here. You can see we've got the cover on there just like it's supposed to be. Save this piece just in case we ever ever need it. Clean up a little bit of the grease that's on here. So we've taken this apart and uh, put it all back together, got her cleaned up. Um, if you're going to take the, the sights off on this one, it's just these two screws. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, I'm looking at uh, replacing the sight on this. Um, I've got no windage and I do need to uh, move it over a little bit. Uh, so I'm either going to replace the sight or try to say, figure out something with the front sight. All right, now it's time to uh, pull the bolt apart here and clean it up. And of course, you know, when I'm trying to put this back in the gun, it always wants to override here. Now, so... When you got it out of the gun, it, it rests in a little, a small little notch here. But to take it apart, you pull it out, and you got to twist it. And pull it some more, and twist it all the way over, and it will come out. And you've got a lot of old oil and stuff on there. So it's... It's well oiled. Maybe I'll take some of the little bit of the oil out. It feels like it's old motor oil, which wouldn't surprise me. That was pretty uh, common back in the day to uh, use old motor oil. But that's all there is to, to really taking this, this apart. Um, you can get new firing pins for these. They still uh, make some aftermarket ones, so that's still available. Parts on these old things are starting to get harder and harder to get come across. There you go. That, that pulls out. Like I said, it looks like it's full of some, some old motor oil. I'll give it a little, little sheen of some of this lever plate. Other than that, looks fairly, doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty clean. That, and the spring over top of it. Just a matter of getting the spring down far enough. She can hook that uh, firing pin. That should be good. Stick it back in here. Got to get this pushed forward. There we go. So we can get it over this piece here. And then once you're here, then you got to cock it and, and kick it over all the way. There we go. And now it's uh, ready to put back into the rifle. And that would be cleaned. So let's get the, the rifle rest back over here, um, get the rifle in there, and we'll get everything put back together. Okay, now to, to put the rifle back together now. Taking this hinge piece off is probably one of, going to be one of the most difficult um, procedures on this. And I had it easy because I didn't have this little clip piece on here anymore. But if you're going to take it off, you probably you're going to need to... Get a screwdriver here and, and pry it and then you can kind of pop it off but if you don't do it right uh, you you will snap be very careful with it you don't want to snap this tab I was lucky enough to find one of these for $28 on the internet but I have seen these up to $110 out there online like I said 
these rifles are getting old, parts from are getting a little harder, harder to find. So we've got that portion fixed. Now we just lay this back into the stock. Got our trigger guard here. It goes in there, and if I remember right, short was front. Long one went in the back. It seemed to fall together just right. Go ahead and flip this over. Get this tightened back down. These are wonderful old rifles. Um, I'm really enjoying this one. It is quickly becoming one of my favorites. Um, but I thought I'd uh, just kind of you know, run you through how to you know, how to take these apart to give them a good full deep clean. Um, you know, a lot of these nobody's done that in a long time, so they are probably overdue. Go ahead and put our our band back on here. It was on the other way. I took it off. There we go. The barrel band back on. This old world, old world craftsmanship. You just don't find this anymore. But uh, go ahead and get the and. Putting these back in is pretty simple if you just go ahead and get them started get this lug passed here and, oh, and of course I said it was going to be simple and it decided to fall off a track here for on me all right just kind of put your finger here and let it guide right back into the, the slot here there we go and she's Back together, clean. I've got my new part on there, so I'm excited about that. Um, that holds open a little bit better than it did before. You know, I got a little bit of a tired uh, follower here. It, it sits a little proud in there, so it, it takes a little bit more to put the, the ammo in here uh, than it should. May get one of those in the future. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that works. Um, but it seems to be operating just fine. It does feed well. Uh, I can see it at the at the back end here. So we'll do some more uh, looking at this and, and smithing on this over the over the weeks and years or however long I have it. Uh, uh, I don't plan on ever getting rid of it. It's just a, a beautiful beautiful old rifle. This is 45 level Charlie Papa channel. Hopefully this helps you out if you've got one of these old rifles. And you're kind of afraid to take it apart because you don't know what you're getting into. Um, they're really pretty simple inside. Um, this is just kind of a tutorial to show you, you know, okay, this is what it is, how to take it apart, how to put it back together. But 45 Elba Charlie Papa channel. And this is the 40, 18, yeah, 1898 Springfield Craig Jorgensen. And I'm out. Please subscribe.